Planning a Christmas party should be easy and fun with party planning tips, holiday entertaining ideas, and yummy Christmas recipes. Here to share some ideas is Tanya Costigan, the owner of Bowties and Butterflies Event Planning. Tanya, always so nice to be with you. Nice to be with you, too. There's so many great ideas here, and we're going to go through every single one. But first, let's talk about why planning a party shouldn't be stressful. Right. Um, there's plenty of time. As you notice, we've all been in the stores around Halloween, and we're like, what? Christmas stuff already? You <laughs> the know? music already? Oh, my I gosh. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's a perfect time to start getting a head start on, you know, gathering the different food or uh, decorations that you want to have at your party. It's, you know, a way to get a head start. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, divide and conquer. Also, you know, if you want to come up with a list early on, ha have family or friends, you know, help you put the stuff together. You don't have to do it alone. Right. And um, also there's, you know, if you want to host the party, you could also have a wedding uh, planner yes. help you yes. with that party. So, you know, there are different ways to keep the stress off of you and right. still throw an amazing party. So it's all about the fun and then you don't have to worry about actually planning it, which right. would be nice. Really right. quickly, we're almost out of time for this, just this part, but invitations are key and it's nice to send them in the mail. Right, and um, I did mine on my own, or you can buy them. You know, send them out a couple weeks ahead of time, but they're they're fun to make, and you know, if you want to have the kids join in with you, and and there are just different styles you can do. Um, and they're so fun for people to so, get in the mail. Yes. Yeah, they're so pretty. And there's a lot more to talk about, obviously. Yes, I'm looking are. forward to hearing all the ideas. Thanks so much, Tanya. Oh, you're and welcome. you can see all these ideas again. Just log on to mymassappeal.com later today. If you think that planning a Christmas party is a daunting task, we are going to prove how fun and simple it can be. Here to tell you how to be the hostess with the mostest, or the host with the most. The host with the most. Is Tanya Costigan, the owner of Bowties and Butterflies Event Planning. Tanya, great to be with you again. Same here. So we're going to go through your great ideas because they are so fantastic. We can't mm -hmm. wait to show everyone, starting at this end. Right, so starting with some desserts. Um, we have some coconut macaroon Christmas trees. You can actually take them off of the form and eat them. Um, I just might. Yeah, <laughs> and those are from Pasture Patties and Hadley. So if you don't have time to make something like that, you can certainly order Pick them. Pick one up. That is yeah. beautiful. Such a, I, would, I don't want to ruin it. It's right. too pretty. I do. I would, I would like to ruin it. And then you have a stocking stuffing candy buffet. Right. So you can put out um, little stockings, or if you, you know, are generous, you can put out big ones if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and just um, put out some festive candies um, out there, and guests can... Fill away. Like that a is so cute. Bag. I yeah. love that. You see, fill, yeah, right. Fill your own little goodie bag, mm -hmm. and then of course some sweet treats here. Right. These are also from Pasture Patties. She made some um, different variety of cookies. If again you don't have time, you can always pick them up and look like you know. <laughs> you you, host, know? But you <laughs> don't plan. You don't cook. You just right. have the people over. That's always nice, of right. course. These are adorable. The Rudolph cake pops. Yeah, these are kind of a trendy thing right now as cake pops for any kind of event. And um, I got these from Sweet Indulgence actually in Warwick, Rhode Island. They sent them out. Out just for the show so they could show them off but they're bite-sized cake pops they're so cute yeah, and cake are pops so are so cute. hot right now you're right everyone's oh, doing cake pops they are they're adorable I so you could order them <laughs> the little glitter nose are so i cute. know i say i would just order i would yeah just yeah i try to make them, make them but fail miserably and um pops biscotti had um put out some platter of chocolates you could add to the dessert buffet if you'd like and he made a little scene there out of chocolate so that's cute. edible you can kind of pick away at it's it. the decor nice. but it's edible right candles always set a nice tone yeah so this is just something different instead of just setting out uh, you know regular votive and this one I just put a little bit of Epsom salts to look like snow in the bottom and then I just glued a wreath thing on there and threw a tea light and there you go or some cranberries this, one. this is absolutely gorgeous and it's one of those things <laughs> Normally, you go out and you have to pay 20, 30 bucks to get a nice candle. Yeah. This candle probably costs maybe a dollar. Right. It's and it's gorgeous. Yeah, and then same with this one. I just picked up some fresh cranberries from the grocery store, threw some water and a floating candle in a dish that I had around the house. And, you know, just add so creative. Frosting. I love that mm -hmm. idea. And of course, these little mixers are very fun yep. for your drinks. And little paper straws, those are also trendy. Mm -hmm. um, these are easy to make for a centerpiece or just for decoration? They are. And uh, if I advise wearing some gloves when you make these, because I made the mistake of not wearing any and my fingers were sticky, but you just take adhesive spray glue, um, you spray the entire pine cone, and then I had filled like a freezer bag with different glitter, and then I just shake it up. 
and take it out and throw it in. It That's took a, a couple minutes. And really. it looks it's amazing. I think it has such a huge impact. It looks yeah. beautiful. These are great little favors or gifts to give away. Yeah, and I, I would love to get one of these. These <laughs> are um, hot chocolate mix with some mini marshmallows, and then I just attached a little nip of Bailey's onto that. That's and, so oh, cute, oh, Tanya. Sorry about that. No yeah. problem. That's so cute. I think yeah. it's what well, was coming my way, but yeah. I can't have Bailey's. <laughs> Coco, okay. yeah. And then the gift search, that's adorable too. Yeah, the gift search I thought was something different if you're looking for a different way to exchange gifts rather than just like, here you go, here you go. Um, what I did was I made ornaments um, and I put, um, Seth has one and oh, nice. Ashley has one. Um, <laughs> and on each ornament there's a number. So Seth would find the present under the tree that matches his number and mm -hmm. that would be Oh, that. it makes and it fun. It just it, is a little, it, you know, it adds a little cool. more time instead of everybody just kind of. And everyone really yeah. remembers that, that party yeah. that wasn't just, you know, go under the tree and get a gift. It was a special way to find yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And real quick, too, I, we're going to get to the pin the nose on Ruth, but I see that this is the great thing. If oh, people yeah. are taking pictures at your holiday party, mm -hmm. give them a local central spot to Right. Play. Yeah, so you can hand these out with the party or just kind of spread them out. Um, there are different websites that allow you just to kind of upload, you know, if you, if you have the password and uh, username, you want to give that out on the card too. And then all your guests can just upload it onto that one site. And that way, if anybody doesn't want it, you know, publicly on Facebook. It's just a private way to, you know, see everybody's picture. That is such a good idea. Yeah. And then everyone can see them, and then you're mm -hmm. not stressed if you forgot your camera. Exactly. Right. And of course, right. pin the, the nose on Rudolph. You blindfold <laughs> yes. yourself, right? Right. And I pretend that I'm blindfolded, but hey, I got it right on. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Congratulations. <laughs> what do I win? No, that's great, Tanya. These are great ideas, and I, I you put me in the mood. I want to just attend a Christmas party now. Yeah. So nice to have you here. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. And if you would like to see these party planning ideas again, just log on to our website, mymassafield.com, later today.